All right, guys. So we are currently spectating the rank one. Sorry, rank two singed in in KR. He is about 500 or 600 LP Grandmaster, and he is playing singed mid with Cleanse Ghost and and Jack Show um, as his mythic. So it, it's honestly super interesting. I'm I'm showing his runes there at the bottom left. Uh, this game he's going Conquer Nimbus Slurity. I've seen him go Predator in his OPGG. There's games where he goes Spellbook. Um, there was a game where he went uh, Phase Rush. Like it's just super. Um, it kind of seems all over the place. I'm assuming this game he went um, Conquer for Tenacity. But there's also other games where he plays against heavy CC comps and he just kind of goes Predator with no tenacity at all. Um, I, I really don't know uh, what his train of thought there is, but it seems like the, honestly to me, it seems like the key to his success is the cleanse, from what I can tell. His, his cleanse seems to do a lot of work for him. And so my line of thinking kind of is, well, I'm seeing this guy and he's making it work at a really high elo in Korea. Um, in mid lane, could this not theoretically work with Spellbook and top lane going cleanse? Hmm, something for Minish Cap to try out, I think, in a future video. But yeah, this guy is currently the rank two singed in Korea, and he is running cleanse Jack Show. He goes, he's gonna go Rylize into Jack Show, I think, this game. But uh, oh, here we go. He has a potential fling opportunity on Baker. Gets the goofling. Here's Wukong. Wukong gets the kill. Or, uh, actually, Singe gets the kill with the uh, with the poison. And then Wukong dies for it, but honestly, not that bad. All the, the, the kill is worth it. Plus, Vigor didn't get a kill. It was the Gargas that got one. So, he also still has his cleanse, which is very good. Cleanse is gonna be super useful here versus the Vigor Cage as the game goes on. But yeah, I, I just thought his build was super interesting, and I I thought that his I thought that his um, summoner spell choice was super interesting. So I just wanted to go over it um, and share this with you guys because this is this is also a type of content that I've wanted to do for a while is it I, I i wanted to do more like um spectator type stuff similar to mid beast how how he spectates like high elo players a lot i except i don't think i want to only spectate high elo players i think i also want to occasionally spectate lower elo players as well and just like kind of do do like a impromptu not really coaching but like commentary basically um on people's games and, and by the way i'll link this guy's opgg in the description for you guys or the pinned comment however you guys um prefer it but yeah and, and I, I think it just helps learn um not just for me because when it comes to one tricking like different players think of the champion in different ways and this guy is thinking of singed in a really different way running ghost cleanse no flash or nothing like that right well he got the cleanse uh looks like wukong jumped into the cage that was a that was a little scuffed i'm not gonna lie he missed the cannon yeah i missed cannons too so they see our our heroes going down to the bot lane here. Singe is currently trying to look for a flank. Will they get him? He has no ghost for a minute 42. They cut off the wave. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see what you got. The thing is gonna get body slammed and killed, but we'll see. Ooh, not the greatest fling in the world, but looks like they got all the kills here, so. All good, he also gets two assists there. Um, yeah, I think it's super interesting, like, there, there's, every, every Singed player kind of, like, they have some of the same habits, and then people also have different habits sometimes. It's so hard to, like, describe. Just the way that people, I, I, I guess, not behave on the champion between, between one tricks, but just the way that people, like, approach different fights and stuff like that, it's, I, I find it to be very useful to always watch other players and just, like, think of what you, what I would do. In their situation versus what they're doing and then like if i think they're doing something better than me try and learn from it or if i think that they're doing something worse than me try and avoid it right and then making that judgment call and trying to just find out like how to be the best player that i can be basically because you know watching watching players who are succeeding um is a good, is a good way to improve yourself right it's just like you might as well do it it's a free resource opgg replays are there for everyone so something to consider um, yeah, so currently he's, he, he switched to a sweeper on that death, and he's pink warding to Gragas' uh, blue buff. I don't know if Gragas will check that bush, but we'll see. Sweeper did get nerfed this patch. Uh, Vigar is currently out of mana. Sandwich is only down about 15 CS, which is, like, honestly not that bad considering the matchup. He's about to be down about 10 CS now. I will call it 
There's a challenger Vagar that the the Korean challenger Vagar too. He has a KDF tag. Is he um he could be a LCK like a minor league player. I forget what the name of it is. Killing spree. But his roam bot lane has proven to be super successful. He, oh, I shouldn't uh, talk about his itemization here. This is I don't know what this is. He's harassing Vagar behind the tower. This is some truly psychopathic behavior. I don't. I honestly don't even think that that was worth it because Vigor didn't lose that much HP. He's gonna be under his tower anyways. But we'll see. Maybe he set up a gank from this blue pun here. Oh, oh, he wants it. Lens is down here though. Let's see if he can get it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. I guess it was worth it. Good job. Granted, yeah, the Wukong definitely did a lot there too, but that was actually really well done. I should. Oh, he missed the cannon again. It's okay. I missed my cannons too, buddy. It's okay. All right, there's a Gragas flank here. Mr. Gragas flank on Mr. Korean rank 2 Singe. And he out. Very nice. Oh, he might not be out, actually. Does the barrel slow? Oh, the barrel does slow. This is going to be. Oh, what's it painful, boys? Gonna double you to stop the body slam. He's leading Gragas up to his team here, though, and Vega is coming too. Oh, this is gonna be juicy for Gragas. Oh no. Oh, the Vega show. Okay, nice. Poppy got him. Yeah, I wanted to highlight his items there. When he died, he bought Dark Seal and Doran's Ring. <laughs> Sorry, no, he bought he bought Doran's Ring and um, Ruby Crystal and and Boots. He started the game with Dark Seal and Potion, so he's just trying to go for a lot of early game power here. Um, and then now he has Blasting Wand. He's not upgrading his boots yet. I don't, I don't remember exactly what boots he went this game. Um, I, I want to say it was Swifties, but I don't know for sure what he did. Um, generally, generally though, having cleanse does reduce the, um, it does reduce the need for you to go Merc Treads, even though it is a Vagar. He is eating some, some Q stacks here though, so we gotta be careful about that. Oh, he, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Singed is not about the lane, Singed is about the team fight, so I'm excited to see how he performs in team fights. I have not watched this replay yet, all I saw was the uh, the, the items and stuff like that, so. Smart by the Vagar to um, deny that cannon there. One thing I'm noticing is between every wave, he is he is walking out and looking for wards, and he is looking for a roam opportunity or anything he can find. Just looking for whatever he can, see if he can secure vision for his team. He can help Wukong. Basically, what he's doing right now, Wukong is taking the blue buff, and he's he's there just in case the Gragas shows up. Just in case he he's not really worried about Vagar hard pushing mid, but all he's doing is bodyguarding his jungler. He's playing around his jungler, which is good because uh, junglers win games right now. So it's a smart way to play for sure. Yeah, that's something that I I just learned right now actually that I should probably be um, rotate or just just river walking more between waves instead of just like. Oh, he's eating so many Qs, though. That is so rough. Because, like, even if you're river walking, if you, if you don't have enough HP to threaten the realm, then it's not exactly really scary, but... Hey, it is what it is. That, hey, his Poppy's 5-1 and one here. I'm excited to see team fights, though. That's what I want to see. I want to see team fights from this guy. So he's still river walking, bodyguarding his Wukong again. Here comes a rocket. He eats the rocket. Oh, he could be in danger from the Vigor, because Vigor definitely knows that he's over there. Okay, Vagar knows that Wukong just did dragon. If Vagar dies to this gank, I'm probably gonna throw my keyboard because uh we know that he's there. Oh. Wait, Vigar can, Vigar can just flash ult here, right? This is like a free kill. Hmm. I would I would assume he would have gone on the first strike, Croc, so he had the bonus damage, but I guess not. All good. He's gonna deny Singe to wave here and probably get himself a plate. Okay, so he did go Merc Treads. He didn't go Swifties, I lied. He went Merc Treads. But that does help him with his Legend Tenacity, and obviously he has the Cleanse as well. His Ghost is back up. Basically, everyone on their team has crowd control here. So he can he can cleanse the Polymorph. The big cleanse, honestly, though, is the, the Vagar Cage. Um, that's the biggest one. You can cleanse a knockup, but you're still CC'd is the problem. The only thing that cleansing a knockup from Scion or Gragas does is make us you can flash flash away. And he doesn't have flash, so he dies and never gonna cleanse the knockups. I'm assuming just Vigor Cage or Polymorph, yeah. The Jinx Trap is not like a huge CC duration either, so. Okay, he has cleanse to get the cage. Get flashed by Wukong, very nice, and they got him. 
the Vigor ulted, but it wasn't enough to kill, so. Definitely it seems valuable to uh, the cleanse. I actually like him this a lot. Because what's the what's the first thing that people do to, against you when you're singed, when you're running at them for a fight? They're going to try and CC you. And if you get hit by it, you just cleanse and keep going, right? Like, it actually seems like it's doing doing some work for him here. The Vigorous TP seems like it's down, I think. The replay bugs out sometimes, so it's hard hard to tell for sure. But I actually quite like this. I'm, I'm thinking about running this in top lane with, um, with Spellbook. I feel like it would work pretty well, but... Something to explore for sure in a future Minish Cap content piece. So yeah, um, I think for his first time he's gonna go Rylize because I did he have demonic? In it? I forget if he had demonic or not. Again, I haven't I haven't actually watched the replay. All I've seen is the um, the post game screen. Okay, so Gragas gets a big shutdown onto the Lucian there. The Gragas is the most fed member of their team. Oh, they see. Oh, they see. Oh. Okay, he's, the the big ball recall. He doesn't care if there's uh, people people nearby. So he sold his Doran's ring, and he got a he sold his potion as well. Actually, the refill potion. He got Rylai. So he's really prioritizing that slow. And then I'm assuming what he's gonna do between Jack Show and Rylai is, is he's just gonna be trying to become like a super uh, annoying slow bot. Oh, he walked into like that, that W there. Yeah, I think that's what he's gonna do is just try and be a slow bot that like slowly ramps up damage with Conqueror and then uses Fling to like prevent himself from not Fling, sorry, cleanse to prevent himself from getting CC'd. If if I if I had to guess like the gist of his of his build here and what it's gonna do for his for his um team fighting. And it's honestly not a not a terrible strat. You are kind of a fling bot and you do kind of rely on your team to be ahead. That's I I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't like relying on team to be ahead. Because if you're if you're building um, low damage fling bot style like this, and your team is even or behind, you can lose a fight and throw the entire game because you don't have enough damage, right? Like it's 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 kind of it, it seems like a safer play style, but it can also kind of be like it is it is safer, but I think it's also lower agency, and because it's lower agency, it can be a bit risky um, in terms of it can hamper your carry potential. But again, I might be speaking too soon. I'm curious to see how he actually handles it. So we see Gargas appear. He sees Gragas, what are we gonna do here? You gonna try and steal it? You gonna try and fling Gragas? What are you doing? There's no smite on the Gragas. He stole it! Oh my, oh my, love to see it. <laughs> he's getting. <laughs> he's getting. He's got missing pings going on from the enemy team. That's funny. Okay, Vigor running bottom. He's actually not gonna farm mid, he's gonna run straight bottom to follow him. He's really working those legs. You see Wukong over there fighting. Alright, let's see. So they're fighting over here. Here's Mr. Singed. He has the flank. So he's hiding over here. They don't know that he's over here. He's using a sweeper to like make sure that he's not seen on the flank here. He's walking over. He has cleanse, just came up. Fling the Jinx in. Jinx goes down. Bunker is stacking up slowly. He's doing a lot of damage to them. He has fling back up. Gragas dies here. And he's out. Very nice. He has here's a triumph proc here. Not even gonna bother using his uh Oh. Good fling. He's like, he's not even gonna bother using his cleanse just yet. He's he's really going hard here. I mean, I don't even I don't know if I'd keep going here. <laughs> this is something that a lot of Singe players do actually. It's not intentional. We just like kinda overstay. And I, I've noticed I'm not the only one that does it. I've noticed a lot of other high list singe players do this a lot. We just like commit a little too hard to the fight because like we, whenever you're team fighting a singe, like you, you kind of sometimes like you tunnel vision really hard on just moving around as much as possible, and then even when you're doing that, you don't notice your health dropping sometimes. So you like you'll win a fight, but then you'll stay too long because you think that the fight is like completely won, and then someone from like the other side of the map like shows up to defend a wave. But you're still there with one HP because you've just been dancing around for no reason. Then all of a sudden you're dead. It's like it's a mistake that we all make. It really is. And so I'm happy to see that the the, the rank two Korean Singe player uh, made that mistake because it's one that I make a lot too. Something that I definitely need to improve on. Uh, overstaying in fights, I think, is is definitely a problem for me and many other Singe players as well. Looking at you, looking at you. You know what I'm talking about. You. 
You specifically. You overstay. <laughs> I overstay too, though. We all do. Okay, so he still has cleanse here. I'm surprised that he's going top. He doesn't have teleport. So I guess he's willing to give this dragon, or just thinks that his team can win without him. Which... I mean, I guess they could. He is he is quite quite valuable right now, though. And he's building towards that Jack show still. He has double CDR components here. He Maybe just going for level 11 before he walks down. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, he's going for level 11. But Scion is top with TP. Well, oh, nope. They're looking for Mr. Scion here. Can you fight him? Can you win? I doubt he's trying to fight him. Oh, he, what he's okay. So what he's doing is he's going for the wave so Scion can't split push it. That's what he's doing. Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's just proxying waves so Cyan can't take tower. His team is not doing dragon. I think they're looking for another pick. They got the Jinx, but... Okay, here's the Cyan TP in mid. He's going to start running down. His team backed off pretty well. They're fighting now. Ooh, okay, I see Singe. Put his W down. Good flank by him. Running the Vagar down. He still has his cleanse up. Running back through. He's gonna fling on Gragas. He's really super good, um, super good discipline to not just panic cleanse there. Oh, this is. Oh no. He did, oh, he did it again. Oh no, he did it again. We all do it. Oh man, we all do it. <laughs> when you just. When you think you're still moving fast and you're just dancing around and all of a sudden you're dead, man. It happens all the time. Like, just, just that desire to just keep going in a fight as sin. I, I, I fully understand. I get it, man. I get it. But another, another good fight by him, another good flank by him. This guy is really good at finding flanks, I found. Um, because, like, every fight that he's, that he's had this game is, like, approached it from the flank angle. Um, his whole team has sleepers besides the 80 carry. <laughs> because they all kind of rely on flanking, so... He doesn't have Jack Show quite yet. I'm surprised that his team is not just forcing Dragon. They're so far ahead they could just do it. But I suppose there's a reason this game went to three items, so it's probably a throw that happens at some point. We'll see. Okay, he's looking for the Vagar. He has cleanse up. Just lazy cleanse. I don't think that they can stop him, honestly. I'm pretty sure he 1v2s this. I wouldn't even bother running away and think you just killed them both, man. Or at least you killed Vagar and run away. Oh. Well, see, that's the thing. They're doing so little damage to him, but he, he stalled the fight when he probably had the kill if he just went harder, but that's okay. That is a okay. He might get out of here. The Gragas is gonna look for him. Gragas, uh, his team want to fight in mid, so the Gragas is afraid of him rotating. You know, see, I feel like with the items that he has, I just wouldn't be afraid at all. Good playing. See, he doesn't want to go for the Vigor now because he he knows that uh, they could turn on him. <laughs> my, my man's learning from the other two fights. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it was, it was still a good fight. Personally, I, I, personally, me, I would have been a little bit more aggressive there, but it was still a good fight. Oh. A little bit of a replay bug. Uh, Alright, guys, I'm back. So it was uh, an OPGG bug. I'm now re watching the replay on Poro Fester, so it is working properly now. Everything's loaded up. But, um, so I, I, I wanted to comment specifically on um, the, the value of playing for your team versus playing for yourself. And uh, on Singe, the reason why a lot of, you see a lot of people playing more flingbot-oriented builds like this, not that it's a bad thing, again, I, I, I don't mean to say flingbot like it's a bad thing, because um, it can be a good thing, obviously, um, is because you're just a team-fighting-based champion anyways, a lot of the time you don't have to be um, the main carry of the team, so like building more beefy and then being uh, it's more utility-oriented um, can actually mean that you put down more damage in the long term Right, it really just uh, really just depends how you approach fights and like just the way that you think about think about the game and think about how you're gonna play it. Um, right now, it looks like his team is fighting in the mid lane. Let's take a gander over there. While he the Excuse me. Oh my god. Yeah, he's looking for a flank right here. Looks like Lucian is dying, but Shut Mr. Synergy is flanking. Now we got Mr. Synergy on deck. Pops the ult. 
He doesn't have a cleanse here, so I'm curious how this goes. He flings the Jinx into Wukong. I'm not sure why he wants that close, but... The triumph proc for him right there. And the triumph proc on the Lulu here. And I think they just run these guys down because he got a lot of health back from triumphing. There's another triumph proc on the... Viraga. And look at his resistances. He's 250 armor, 250 armor. Or, sorry, MR as well, so the, uh... Triumph is really big value because every time he's getting, even with the nerf Triumph, every time he's getting health back, they have to deal with him having those resistances to like make the health worth more. And it's working out pretty well, so they're probably going to force Baron here. The Lucian's running back up towards them. Jacques Show doing a lot of work for him so far. I kind of really like this build. I, 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 I like it. It's. Your farm definitely suffers a bit, I think. I can actually double check what his um, CS was. I'm gonna do that right now, actually. What was the CS? Let's see. So this game, he averaged, um... 5.2 CS per minute. So for context, um... Sorry, that was, that was my windows. So for context, I actually averaged 7. Point, I think 2 CS per minute right now. So I get 2 CS extra per minute, um... In general, but... My playstyle is also, um... A little bit more like macro oriented, I would say. Not that he, again, he's macroing very well too. Um, but part of that as well is in mid lane, naturally, your um, CS will be a bit lower versus these matchups like Vagar and, you know, Tristana and Akshan and um, A Soul, Victor, stuff like that that is going to harass you very hard. Whereas in top lane, you have the option to proxy and maintain your CS number quite heavily. Whereas again, in mid lane, sometimes you don't have the option, right? But he actually goes Magi's here. Oh my, oh my, dude. That is that is quite a choice. And looks like he's a little upset that Lucian took that wave because he's <laughs> kind of just he's gonna just stand in here. So we'll see. We'll see what he does. His team his team looks like they want to see bottom. Lucian's getting a little, a little aggressive. Okay, dash out of the cage. So he's pushing mid here. Team is fighting. So we'll see what Singe does. Singe is ulting, ghosting through the base. He's getting into their team here. He has cleanse. Cleanse is the polymorph there. And okay. Looks like his team cleans up though. Yeah, his team his team cleans up pretty well. Wukong goes really hard. Poppy has a shield here. Does she get out? The grass proc here, which is tanky. Oh, she's really playing with- Oh! Oh, she got the plants! Oh, it's depression! It's depression for the Gragas. So my man had Magi's, he had six stacks, and then he went in, he lost them all- Or ten stacks, he lost them all, then he got he got three back- Or sorry, six back from the assist that he got there. That's interesting. I'm just- I'm curious why the Magi's instead of going for, like, um... Demonic there. I think he, he's building a giant spell now, so I assume he wants to go demonic here, but I, he could have just had, like, most of the components there. I'm pretty sure six stack Medjai gives less AP destroyed. than 30. So he's only he's only getting 50 AP for Medjai's here, um, whereas a blasting one for 850 gold gives you 45. So, I mean, it just seems like, uh, on Singe, you just die a lot. Like, you're just, you're just gonna die, right? So sometimes Medjai's doesn't seem worth it. The movement speed's quite nice if you can get it, though. If you can maintain the movement speed, but eventually like, you're gonna die, right? Maybe, maybe not quite as hard or as often on this build because he has Jack Show. Okay, they see Jinx. Was that a blind W? I think he just blind W that Jinx. He just guessed that she was farming it. Cool. Okay, he's gonna just pressure them in mid really hard. This is something that Singe is great at doing: is just like walking into any base whenever their inhibs are down. And just being a bit of a menace. Now, I'm excited to see if he can get his uh, Magi stack back up though before this game is over. KR Lucian, I'll tell you right now, this AD carry player is better than every single uh, NA AD carry and solo queue that I've seen. Now, obviously, there's a few exceptions like. Um, the Korean imports that we have in NA right now, like Mr. Berserker, but man, this Lucian is probably better than every native NA player that I've seen. It's not even close. Again, they're playing on like 4 ping, but still. Okay, here we go. Cleanse is down, no ghost. What are you gonna do here, Mr. Singe? He just runs straight at Jinx Flingzer. He has 263 armor, 266 MR. He does go down, unfortunately. 
but the Jinx, uh, the Jinx lived, actually, but their, their front line is both down, so we'll see if they can actually siege this. Big Arcade is big value here, by the way. It's super hard for a team to siege against Big Arcade. Oop, Bobby goes in. Delusion is just an absolute monstrous menace right now. Look at the movement on the Lucian, man! Oh my god, KR Lucian is just a... It's a work of art, honestly. I, I know that AD carry is super OP right now, but... Just the way that he moves. Just how he cancels his, his abilities. Like, it, it's like watching water flow. They're pinging them back to the Nexus. They want to they farm KDA. But yeah, it's like watching... It's like, it's like watching poetry in motion. I love it. Yeah, and it's, it's an interesting build. I mean... Is KDA was good? You went 6-6-20. Six, six, um, I'll show you guys, actually, the uh, the post-game here. So, this is the this is the the post game screen I, I can't show you the one in client because I don't have a, I don't have a Korean account but this is this is on Poor Professor um it just shows you his his stats overall so this is looking at at singed um compared to the average master tier singed his kills and assists was a lot higher he outperformed the Vagar um his deaths was pretty much on par with the average the average master tier singed but bear in mind this guy is actually grandmaster right now he's like he's nearly challenger he's the ranked two singe in Korea currently but um I mean, yeah i think i think he performed pretty well i like i really like what he's doing with moving in between um moving moving in between river and lane with sweeper i think the the big thing there that he's doing that i'm not doing that i think he's doing very well is using a sweeper to like control vision and find flanks i like that a lot and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna take that i'm gonna learn from it i actually do like the cleanse i'm gonna try cleanse in top lane and i i'm gonna feed really hard when i try it but i'm gonna try it i might try it in mid too honestly this is c because i think versus matchups like the vagard could potentially be very good also cleanse is great versus ignite so you play against ignite uh trist or ignite akshan cleanse quite good plus you get the late game uh, viability of it to uh dodge cc i think it's actually quite a quite a smart pick so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i hope you guys enjoyed this content style of uh minish cap reacting to other singe players like i said i'm not gonna only do i think i think this guy's playing really well he's playing out of his mind like that was a great game um and uh like i said if, if you guys want more of this let me know and I, I think it'd be fun content style to make um and i don't want to only react or um spectate high elo singe players I also want to react to and spectate lower elo singe players as well um to give you guys some offhand coaching because a lot of the mistakes that um people make are going to be repeated uh throughout a lot of other players experiences right so i think pointing out if uh things that people are doing wrong or do or even doing well in lower elos could be very helpful for you guys too but that being said thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it. i'll catch you the next one peace guys